first thing in the morning, let's go through mail. However, I see a card statement from a Standard Bank. Now, if you click on the link of a Standard Bank, we can actually look at the content. It says that we need to download the statement. So um, it's a my blue credit card statement and it's been encrypted and I need a decoder to view the statement. I have to download and install the decoder. However, when I actually go to any of these images, you can see it actually comes back from Standard Bank of Sierra Zelle, which is a local bank. Now, it looks valid. However, I would and like to understand who this comes from, you know, because spammers get so uh, good with this phishing attacks that it looks like it is from your bank. So to look at the headers, previous older Outlook versions, I'm using Outlook here from Microsoft, had the option to look at the header. However, in the later versions, it's not. And what I'm going to do here is just quickly take you through the process of how to add that. So we can actually add it to the quick access toolbar that's going to be the easiest we're going to look at commands not into the ribbon and we're going to look for message options and when we add that as you can see there as soon as we add it has been added to my quick bar next to my printer now if I click on the quick options message options we can look at the he header and as you can see, the internet headers is from card statement to standard bank. It's addressed to me, delivery date, and so on. But originally from my server, it's been received from an IP address 220, 73163115. And the system resolves it. And as you can see, it's host 81ft.co.korea. So immediately we can see there that it is from a untrusted spamming and guys trying to do phishing attacks. This allows you to quickly look at that. And if you want to report that, you can actually um, co copy, select all, copy, and send this to the actual bounce host. Um, if we look just further here, it went through telecoms receiver um, from that host. You can actually go look up that host, ft.co.kr. Uh, we'll do that quickly and just send a complaint using a tool like geoiptool.com you can actually identify that that is an IP address from South Korea you can actually look who owns it and they will have the abuse emails for you. usually it is abuse at ft.co.kr and this way you help fight the phishing attacks in your environment.